Hey, how's it going? So yeah, today's video is about uh, why your shell alias doesn't work. I used to find this pretty confusing, like why isn't my alias working? Uh, so hopefully this will help you out. I've got the the, re the four reasons I'm going to go over here. Uh, you know, alias isn't defined, it's only available in interactive mode, expands when defined, when not used, uh, not when used, and uh, it's not available in other programs. So if you're, if you're trying to figure out why it doesn't work in one of these, is kind of like ringing a bell, then maybe you can just stop the video here. Okay, so before I get into these four reasons, we have to talk about what an alias is, because uh, uh, it may not be obvious. Okay, so I'm in uh, just a random directory with nothing in it, and uh, if I type in the word alias here and hit enter, I've got a list of my aliases. I've got a list of my aliases. Okay, so I just typed in alias and I got that list, right? So it seems like alias is a command, right? But if I type in which alias, no alias. So I don't, there is no command alias. Okay, so so that's an important thing to understand. Alias is not a program on your computer. It's a shell built-in, right? So if I type, type alias, it's gonna say it is a shell built-in. So aliases are part of your shell, okay? And uh, if you're watching this video, you probably already know this, but what does an alias do? Let's me take one piece of text and substitute it for another piece of text. So again, let's, if I type in alias, I'll see a list of all my aliases. I have the ls command, right? Uh, let, let's make a, let's make a file here. So touch uh, dog.txt, okay, great. So I've got the ls command on my system. This is the standard ls command that you're, you're used to seeing, but I've also got an alias, right? So ls equals, and then this really long alias. And basically it says anytime somebody types ls, uh, we're gonna run this command instead. So let me do that, and then, oh look, I've got dog.txt with this little icon, right? So without the icon, because this this backslash in front means ignore the alias, right? Uh, ls and with the alias. Okay, great. Um, so, so yeah, that's basically what an alias is, right? So any one of these things is going to be substituted for whatever's on the other side of it. The first thing, number one, alias is, uh, oh, where are we here? Alias is not defined. Okay, so if I type in alias, uh, and I don't see my alias here, your alias isn't defined. You've somehow <laughs> defined it incorrectly. Now, where, where should you be defining your aliases? That depends on the shell that you're in. Uh, it also kind of depends on the operating system, but assuming that you're on a Linux or a Mac system, there's probably uh, a bash RC file in your uh, home directory or ZSHRC, same exact same thing for the most part. We'll get into a difference later. Uh, so you just define your alias in there. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, you you define an alias like this, alias mv equals mv-iv, and uh, and then you're good, and then you'll see it, right? So if I go back into this alias directory where I've got my dog here, so uh, I don't have an alias called uh, hello, right? So let me make an alias called hello. So I'm gonna do that by saying uh, alias uh, hello equals and it's going to be an alias for echo hi, like that. So now if I do hello, perfect, it shows up. There's my alias. Uh, let's look at my list of aliases again. Here is hello. Nice in alphabetical order for you. What a nice program to do that for me. Um, but then if I were to uh, close uh, the shell or terminal and open it again, my alias would be gone because I haven't set it, right? So you have to set it somewhere consistently. Okay. so. If your alias is not defined, it's not going to work. Obviously, that makes sense. Next, only available in interactive mode. So right now, I'm using the Bash shell in interactive mode, right? But uh, you don't have to run in interactive mode, right? Uh, in fact, when you're running a script, that's not interactive mode. So let's make a script right here. Okay, so we're going to uh, make a script called my script dot sh. Sure, and then uh, let's edit this thing. Okay, and this is a script uh, that is just going to have uh, LS. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, it wants me to put a shebang. Sure, I will put a shebang. Uh, bin bash. That'll do. Okay, great. Okay, so this is my entire uh, script. It's just going to run LS, okay? So we're going to run it, um, bash my script, and it does LS. Perfect. Now, do you remember I had LS aliased, right? So if I do ls from inside this directory, I get these nice icons. But if I run this, I don't get those icons. Okay, so by default, in, in, in 
aliases only show up in interactive mode, which is what I'm in right now. But when I go into my actual script, right, and run, this thing is not run in interactive mode, so my alias won't work. So again, let, let's take another look here. So I've got hello, that does echo high, right? So I do hello. Okay, good. But then if I change my script, I put in hello here, okay? I run my script. It doesn't know what to do, right? So the alias isn't uh, available. There are ways to make your aliases available in uh, non-interact mode, so you can use them in your scripts. I don't know why you would do that. Maybe you know why, maybe you can tell me, that would be cool. Okay, so number three, uh, expands when defined, not when used. Maybe you haven't run into this, uh, but it is, it is something kind of interesting. So uh, I've added a file here called myaliases.sh where I just define a few aliases. Uh, and uh, I've got this error showing up. Uh, this expands when defined, not when used, consider escaping. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to comment, comment out these other ones for now, because uh, we don't really need to worry about them. And uh, we'll just look at this first one. So alias cool PWD equals echo. Uh, I've got that little pin and then PWD, which is an environment variable. And uh, shell check is mad at me about this. Uh, it's saying that I shouldn't be doing this. Let me show you why it is mad about that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, source my aliases. Okay, and then I'm going to run cool uh, PWD. And it looks like it's working, right? This is perfect, okay. Uh, now I'm going to go into my home directory and I'm going to run cool PWD again and it still says I'm in alias, which clearly I'm not in alias. So the reason it's doing that is because um, this is uh, expanded, right? So this is expanded to the current directory at the time the alias is actually being set, right? So whatever directory I'm in, now that's, it will be set there, right? So. So this is this is a bad uh, this is basically a bug in your software, right? If you're if you're doing something like this. Okay, so what you really probably want to do is uh, use a function uh, instead of uh, an alias for something like this. I'm going to call this uh, cool pwd uh, two because uh, cool uh, pwd is already taken. I will source uh, that source my aliases, and now if I run cool pwd two, uh, there we go. Right, so I can uh, I can. It works no matter where I am, right? So even if I go down to the root directory, uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go back to the alias directory. Now, lastly, I, I can also do this one right here, uh, which is kind of, I think it's kind of hacky, right? So this is saying interpret all of this literally. And then when you actually try and use your alias at that point, it will be converted, right? So I can do that so I can uh, source it again. Uh, source uh, my aliases and now if i do cool pwd this should work for me now uh, let's go back into the root directory and yeah it, it works but I, I i think that that is kind of a hacky way of doing things i don't think it's clear that uh that it's obvious that i know what i'm doing if i'm doing something like that okay number four uh not available in other programs i said this at the start of the video but uh yeah aliases belong to the shell they don't uh, escape from the shell um an example of that is like i could uh, set my alias. So I actually, I still have all my aliases, right? So I've got alias hello and I'm in bash right now, right? But if I opened up a new instance of bash, right? And then I, uh, oh, it doesn't enter an alias again. Uh, hello is not there, right? So it, it hasn't made it been passed down, uh, to the child process, right? Uh, so let's, it, sh it should be back now. It is. Okay, great. Same thing. If I op open up ZSH and I type in alias, uh, I'm not gonna have the aliases from the uh, parent process, right? Unlike environment variables, which are actually passed down, right? So sometimes that can be a little bit confusing, right? Your environment variables, uh, like PWD that we saw earlier, is passed down everywhere, right? So if I echo uh, PWD, that's being passed down, um, but the alias itself is not. Okay, if you made it this far, you're really into aliases, so uh, I'm gonna show you something that I think is kind of interesting. So. So far, we've just said like you type in an alias and it it, it uh, swaps it out for something else, right? So uh, for example, we have we have hello and it swaps it out for echo hi. Okay, but what if I said echo? Uh, I spell it right, echo hello. What do you think will happen here? Is it going to say echo echo hi, or is it going to say echo hello? I'm in bash. Do you know the answer? You know the answer, right? It's hello. Okay, but what if 
there was a way. Okay, so let me let me be clear here. In, in Bash, um, aliases are only the first token, right? Like the first word in Bash uh, is is uh, swapped out, right? So if uh, if I say like hello like that, it's not going to work. I wonder actually what will happen if I put a space before it. Does it work? That does still work. Okay, great. Um, right, but uh, yeah, echo hello is not it's not going to expand it or it's not going to swap it out. Now. With ZSH, which I have installed here, I'm not using it, but I have it. Oh, I don't have that there. All right, so let's say I do my al alias uh, hello equals hi. Okay, uh, echo hi. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. Uh, and type in hello. Yeah, so we've got that working. Uh, same thing though, if I say echo hello, uh, still just gonna do, you know, echo hello. But with ZSH, you have a, a G flag, which will make it global, right? So alias dash g hello equals echo hi uh and now if i was to do echo hello i get my echo echo hi right so it will be interpreted in any place uh in the command okay so let's get out of zsh uh we'll be back in bash we'll have all our aliases here and then uh if i was to close this terminal reopen it again oh i'm all hidden now let's Bring that back over here. Great. Uh, and then if I were to type my aliases, everything is gone because I didn't put it in the bash RC. Anyway, I hope, I hope that was useful. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if I got anything wrong, let me know. That happens, right? Leave a comment. Uh, yeah. And I uh, hope you're having a great day. Bye.